a while back in a KBR forum that was totally designed to attract my attention. This one here about MIDI effects. I wrote a long answer describing how wonderful I found the Tune Tracks app called Easy Keys. Basically, I had learned from watching some other YouTube videos about how people were using it, not exactly as it's intended to be used, but simply as a really powerful MIDI utility. So that's what I was describing here, and a couple of people asked if I would ever consider making a video showing my workflow and etc. right here. Examples of usable stuff. I think that was the phrase that made me hesitate to do anything because who knows what's usable. It's all so subjective. At any rate, uh, I decided it was time to actually respond to that request. And so that's what this video is about. Here I, here I have Easy Keys loaded up in my preferred DAW, which is Logic, as a MIDI effect driving Omnisphere. And the way I'm able to do that is because I've got this Blue Cat Patchwork device loaded up as a Logic MIDI effect, and I'm running Easy Keys inside it. Easy Keys doesn't come natively as an AU MIDI effect, so I have to have this workaround. But in a program like Ableton or Bitwig or something like that, or uh, it would be a whole lot easier, anything that would run VSTs. I think the simplest and most flexible way to think of Easy Keys is simply that it's a MIDI file playback and editing tool that automatically separates the MIDI performance, the notes involved, from the chord progression that's implied by whatever MIDI performance you have. If you open the browser and select any of the uh, MIDI files that are in here, comes with quite a few. You'll see them separated out by genre. None of that's really important to the, this particular way I'm using it. Open up any, any MIDI file with the little keys icon. You can preview it by clicking on the little play button there that appears. But when you drag this into the editing view here, you'll see right away a chord progression indicated as well as the note performance. The trick, of course, is that you can use uh, this separation to either edit or change the chord progression or replace and exchange one sort of MIDI performance and phrasing with another. You can either click on individual chords and audition alternatives for them with all kinds of options for You can also select the entire performance and randomize the chords within the key signature. And finally, you can divvy up the, the file in new ways with the scissors tool, creating new chords, and then select all of these and randomize all the new ones and edit them, of course, one by one. You can edit the performance entirely by clicking this button here, Use Browser MIDI. What that does is change the way MIDI file selection works. Now, if we choose a MIDI file, watch what happens to the, the representation of the performance here when I choose any other MIDI file from anywhere. And of course, the, the really powerful thing is that it really is just a MIDI file that Easy Keys is working with. There's nothing special about the MIDI files that come with Easy Keys or that you can buy as add-ons to the engine. Any MIDI file, any single track MIDI file will open up in here. And if it doesn't, if it hasn't already been analyzed for a chord structure, Easy Keys will automate that process. If you have a multi-track one, it will ask you which track you want to use. But the great thing is, 
that you can load up into the same directory that all these uh, Easy Keys MIDI files come with, with any files of your own. So that's what I've done here with a huge folder that I built containing pretty much all the MIDI files I've ever collected in 30 years or so that I've been fiddling with MIDI files. So any of these in this use browser MIDI mode, if I click on anything here, it is it simply replaces what's there already. And you can adjust the uh, the playback here with the these buttons here, normal or times two or half. In this case, this Bach MIDI file is a lot longer than our the little clip that we started with, so uh, there's some wiggle room in there for stretching it or, or compressing it. But of course, without this, uh, we click back out of there and we cut to the original performance, but we can also simply start with a non-Easy Keys MIDI file. Remove, let's take this old classic set T piece, Gnossian, or however that's pronounced, drag that in. And it too comes in with the full performance and all the uh, the chords in the progression that uh, Easy Keys identified. It's automated analysis. So we can play this as is, of course, or we could randomize all the chords. So you can hear it's the same phrasing, but now with a different harmony and different, uh, different notes. So even with this, we could take the chord progression, use browser MIDI, and convert this to a Baroque piece by simply loading the Baroque performance into the key structure, into the chord progression. So the Satie piece is long gone by now, but this is the, the core trick for easy keys. Wherever you get the chord progression and the performance, you can load it in here and they'll be separated so that either or both can be edited or replaced, uh, reused. And to me, that's the power of easy keys. Once you've got a uh, use browser MIDI selection in here, you, you can either choose another one or when you find the one you want, you, you need to hit the replace button here, which converts the, the joined progression and performance into a, a new unique MIDI file, which then can of course be uh, exported or even more interesting, simply dragged up to a DAW track. There it is. But let's remove this and look at another interesting way to use Easy Keys. I'm fond of the device called Scalar, uh, this chord plugin from Plugin Boutique, where you can choose from many different scales, songs, artists, and basically find a huge collection of chord progressions, chords in progression, and build your own. Um, however you come up with it, you can also simply drag the MIDI from here right into Easy Keys. There it is. And of course, it's nothing but simple block chords. These are the looping indicators here, so. So obviously the next thing to do with this is to choose some MIDI to run through it. So I've selected choose, use browser MIDI and it was already set to this Baroque piece. Uh, so let's hear that. Twice as fast, half speed.
And of course, we could spend all day doing this. randomly diving through my big collection. And of course, we can go on and on. Uh, at any point here, we could hit replace so that it becomes its own MIDI file and go ahead on with designing a new progression. So the point is, you can start wherever you like, with a chord progression you love or the performance you love, and run either against a basically infinite number of variations. I hope you're noticing how elegantly Easy Keys manages to bring together existing chord progressions and existing performances that were in any way created with each other in mind or at the same time or at the same beats per minute. Whatever it's doing, it's doing it with as much smarts and behind-the-scenes technology as uh, one could expect from a high-quality product like this. And it's certainly a large part of what makes it a delight to use that you don't have to answer a whole lot of questions and fiddle around with any kind of parameters to uh, almost invariably get performances that lock together and sync up with chord progressions in interesting ways. That makes a big difference to me and my use of it. So last thing I want to do here is try and tackle this usability question that came up. Again, I think it's totally subjective and I'm making no claims for anything that I'm showing here as being obvious proof of how musical and wonderful this tool is. It's, as far as I can tell, totally transparent to whatever purposes you may have. But here's the main thing that I've made with it that really sealed the deal with me about whether I love this thing or not. So I'm going to remove this and drag in the song that I made, I mean, as you can see, Easy Keys talks about songs. This is a song creating device. Um, I don't usually myself think about songs, but I did find a uh, progression in here and some phrasing that I really liked and actually spent some time building uh, more than just a little snippet of sort of demo material. So I'll Let's just see how this goes. <laughs> 